In this video, I would like to show you a workflow for creating, shaping, and positioning hair curves. I have a proxy geotube in this scene. We will use this to extract a curve using the Curve Extraction tool. The Curve Extraction tool allows you to quickly extract curves from polytubes or cards. I will extract a center curve for her front bang. Next, to shape the curve, instead of moving the vertices of curve, I will utilize the Sculpt Curve tool to shape the curve. When the curves have high amount of vertices, it becomes difficult to sculpt. I personally like to sculpt with lower CV counts. Let's use the Curve Rebuild tool to lower the CV counts of the curve. Here, I am applying the rebuild operation to the original curve by checking the checkbox. You can also choose to create a new copy of the rebuild curve. With the Sculpt Curve tool, it gives you the option to block out the hair curves with the ability to move the root without affecting the tip. It's useful in certain cases in where you do not wish to affect the shape of the tip. We will need more curves to shape the volume of this front strand. To fill in this empty area, you can duplicate the curve and manually move it over. However, instead of doing this, I will use the Add Curve tool to quickly add curves in position. The Add Curve tool will create a curve that follows the shapes of the nearby curves. As you can see, the Add Curve tool will detect the nearby curves and interpolate their shapes. If a curve is placed in between two curves, it will use the average of the two curves for the new curve. Let's position the add point closer to our front strand so it picks up the shape better. From here, continue to use the Sculpt Curve and Add Curve tool to finish the blocking. I hope you found this video useful. Happy grooming. Smiley face.